to my channel. So I just got back home last night from a one month long trip to Fiji, Samoa, and New Zealand. If you haven't watched my Samoa vlog, I got injured pretty badly on the first day that I was in Samoa exploring around. I broke my heel and sprained my ankle jumping off of a waterfall. It was super dumb and I regret it immensely, but I've just been dealing with that ever since. So I did not vlog in New Zealand because it was hard enough trying to function by myself with these crutches right here, let alone hold a camera while doing it. I just spent that time in New Zealand to really rest and heal as much as possible, which was kind of depressing to be honest with you because when I think of New Zealand and traveling there, my dream was to hike all over the place and to surf and to do all of these really cool extreme activities, which obviously wasn't able to do. So for our New Zealand trip, my boyfriend and I rented a camper van and we picked it up from Auckland Airport and we drove to, I think we went to like the Hobbiton area first because that was my number one thing I wanted to do in New Zealand was to go see the Shire, which is amazing by the way. And then we took the ferry to the South Island, which was absolutely beautiful, just as everyone described to me. There's also a lot of sheep in New Zealand. When people say that there is more sheep than people in New Zealand, that is absolutely true. We went down to Queenstown, stayed in some really cool Airbnbs because I just couldn't handle the holiday park life on crutches every single night because it was basically impossible for me to shower by myself. So I'm sad I didn't get to experience New Zealand like I had originally planned and I wanted to vlog the whole thing, but life happens and you just have to roll with it. So I just got back home last night and what I like to do when I get home from a trip is to just regroup basically. So I need to unpack, I need to do all the errands, I need to water my plants, need to write a to-do list and just get my life back together. It is going to be way more difficult with crutches and a broken foot. Just trying to be patient with myself. So because of my injury, I canceled my trip for February, which is really unfortunate because I was supposed to go on a 20 day long tour of the Philippines and I would have left in a few days from now. Unfortunately, that is canceled because in February I need to heal my foot to stay productive and to keep myself not distracted I am going to write a to-do list of everything that I want to achieve in the next few days it may not seem like a whole lot but when you are doing everything on crutches <laughs> it does take a while to do the smallest little thing I think the first thing I'm gonna do was unpack my suitcases because that always makes me feel a lot more organized and on top of things, so let's do that. After a month of neglect, it's safe to say that my plants hate me. These are looking pretty good though, but that guy over there and some of my air plants are looking very sad, so I'm going to try to fix them up as best as I can. gone for a long time my PR packages really start to accumulate which is so much fun to open up all at once it's like Christmas so 
So these are all of the things that I received from opening up my packages. I'm really excited about this. It's called Lotus Trolley Bag and it's a plastic free way to do your grocery shopping. And then it also came with some produce bags. And then here are some cool shades from Maho, which I've never tried before, but I love their sunglass case. This is a little candle that Club Med sent me back when I went to the Dominican Republic to shoot for them. So these are all of Sunbum's brand new products, which I'm so excited to try, including their new mineral face lotion, which I am on the package. How crazy is that? So cool. Hey guys, so I got a few of the things I needed to get done on my to-do list for today, but then I just got pretty tired, so I'm just taking a little break. I'm just trying to keep my foot elevated as much as possible throughout the day. So basically I have my journal, I have my book, started reading the Lord of the Rings series in New Zealand, of course. Gonna hang out, do a little bit of journaling and reading and just rest. Look what came in the mail today. The hardest part about having a broken foot is not being able to drive anywhere. So thank goodness for Green Chef because this package just arrived for me on my doorstep. Green Chef is a USDA certified organic company. That means that all the ingredients inside are fresh, that you're getting the optimal quality of all the food inside. You can go online and choose what meal plan works best for you. There's vegan, vegetarian, keto, balanced living, and family friendly. My main concern this month, since I can't work out, is overeating and not eating healthy because my body needs the nutrients to basically grow my bone back. My crutches just fell. For me, this is a huge convenience factor with my injury, but if you're the type of person who's really busy but still wants to eat clean, then I'd recommend checking this out. So these are the three meals that came inside of my box. We've got the Moroccan carrots and rice, sweet potato enchiladas, a bulgogi noodle bowl. I think I'm gonna try the sweet potato enchiladas for tonight. My meals come in this insulated box which keeps them nice and fresh. And here is the bag for the sweet potato enchiladas that I'll be making tonight. And everything comes already pre-cut, pre-measured, so it's super convenient. All I have to do is follow these instructions and hopefully I will come up with a delicious meal in 40 minutes. And this meal serves two people. So I'll be cooking for myself and my brother tonight since he's at home and he's going to help me with whatever I can't carry and crutch with. That makes sense. Since I'm partnering up with Green Chef for this video, I have a bit of a special offer for you. For a total of $80 off plus free shipping, go to greenchef.us slash erinkraus80 and click get started. So these are all of the ingredients that I'll be needing to be making my sweet potato enchiladas tonight. And let's get started.
Hey guys, this is the finished result. Sweet potato enchiladas and it's all vegan and it smells and looks so good. Okay, time to see what it tastes like. That is good. Pretty proud of myself that I made this delicious dinner because I'm not the best chef, but thankfully Green Chef makes it super easy to make a delicious and healthy meal. I'm gonna eat this now and watch The Office with my brother. He's not vegan, so this is funny. Far from vegan. Good? I mean, a shrug from him is good. Is good. <laughs> hey, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm sorry, he's, he's ruined. All right, it's time for bed. I made a delicious dinner and I took a bath with some Epsom salts. It's pretty cold. It's February and uh, it's usually one of the colder months here at home. I know this vlog wasn't super exciting, but neither is my life right now. I don't know if I will be vlogging again while I'm still recovering from my injury. So if that's the case, I'll see you guys when I'm back on my feet, literally. Hopefully by the first week of March, I'll be able to walk and resume my travels because I have a lot of really exciting travel plans coming ahead that I really want to show you guys and be healthy for. February is going to be quite a boring month, but it is what it is. All right, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching and good night.